The layout of the pond feature is on the western side of the house, mostly in front of the sunroom windows. So as you approach the water feature, this is the patio area or sitting area. So he's shown it about 12 by 15. That circle there on the left is just a boulder for decoration. And then as you come forward, you'll see those three rectangles. That is representing steps into the pond. So the pond is here on your left. You can see the circles representing boulders. That's called the skimmer area where debris will be pushed by the water flow into that area where it can be scooped out. That's the existing rock bed that we have. So as you go forward, you can step down into the pond if you want. The pond will be four feet deep. And this is the outline on the left. Then it goes back towards that rock bed. The Japanese maple is about where the waterfall will be, but it, the Japanese maple will be taken out. So then scanning this way, this is the edge of the pond. So it's basically an oval shape. Then you come here. This is the entrance to the stream. The stream will go, as I walk here, it's hard to see, but there's boulders on either side to kind of camouflage and soften the edge. And then this is the stream. And at the top of the stream, you see these two boulder marks and that, that will be a waterfall there. The bog filter, which is just a um, type of water filter, sort of like a septic system where the water filters down through rocks that have bacteria that eat the nutrients out of the water like nitrates and phosphates. So that's the stream. So the stream will empty into the pond right here. Then here will be the large waterfall. Um, we plan to have at least like a primary and a couple, three secondary waterfalls amongst the rocks. And the stream will have some drops for rocks, or excuse me, for waterfalls also. The back of the waterfall, of course, will have to be built up. We think it will just be using the dirt from the um, digging out the pond, but the waterfall will be built up. And so on the back, it will slope down to ground level and be landscaped. So from the back, it'll look across to this area in the yard, which stays shaded in the summer a good part of the day, almost all day between the sun in the morning is behind the house, so the house creates shade. And then these two trees create a canopy almost all day long in the summer. It gets a little smaller, but it is pretty much shaded over that patio area most of the summer. And then in the evening, this tree here, the tall maple tree on the right, provide shade. So that's an overview of the water feature.